All right, welcome back, video number two. Um, gonna go ahead and install the servo real quick. Um, Got to drill four holes, four screws. Servo goes in. Um, I'm just gonna do a temporary install right now. I'm not gonna actually um, cut leads or anything yet because I'm gonna wait till the air, the uh, airplane's all done and figure out where I'm gonna put all my um, uh, my servo, my my actual uh, receivers and stuff like that, my power box. Uh, that way um, I can cut them to length using 20 gauge wire. All right, it'll be non-twisted, but 2.4 you really don't need it. Plus the servos are already twisted, uh, and I'll just put new ends on them when I'm done. It so this is just this obviously isn't as length, the length that you're going to need. So, but uh, grommets are already installed. Kind of play around here with the focus grommets are installed little brass grommets that go inside your little rubber ones um, I got SB SWB arms like I said they came right off my uh, my other airplane but simply go ahead and zoom in here get a little focus alright Gonna slide the servo in. Take a one sixteenth drill bit. Center up the servo inside the box. It's pretty good fit, but there is a little bit of extra room. Take my four Phillips head servo screws. Get them all started here. And what I'm going to do is once I'm going to run these in, take them back out, take some Synthia, or Synthia, gosh, uh, Thin CA, drop it in the hole, let it dry, and then run the screws back in. And that kind of gives it a nice, nice, real tough thread. Gives it some bite. So these things won't strip out on you as easy. So. Alright. Looks good. Centered. I'm going to take these back out now, real quick. Because you know that's what they all recommend. A little thin CA in there. Some people take medium CA and just put it on the screw and run the screw through with the medium CA. I don't like to do that. You know, it gets it on. It gets it everywhere. It gets it on the grommet. That kind of stuff. So uh, take these back out real quick. Be careful with this stuff. It's like it's like water. But if you drop it anywhere, just always keep a thing of a debonder for cleanup. It don't take much. This stuff, like I said, it's like water. And then when you put the screws back in for the final time, it'll you'll definitely feel that it'll, the screw will be a, a little bit tighter get going back in, which is a good thing. That's because it kind of closes up a little bit. I always kind of blow in them, make sure the 
glue doesn't com like completely seal the hole if you don't. So we'll do that sometimes. Ugh. And I already got some CA. Take a little bit under. This stuff works great for cleaning. I don't know what it is. It's really good for cleanup too. Definitely a little tighter. These are real thin in here. I may put some extra, you can kind of push on it. It kind of feels flimsy. I may put some extra support in there. I don't know. We'll see. tighten them up until the grommet starts to spin and then I'll back it off just a little bit. Don't want to get them too tight because that reduces the uh, effectiveness of the, the rubber grommet. Let me put that glue in there. All right, there you go. Nice, clean, easy install. The other hole down here, I'm either going to take some clear, put over it. If I can find some, uh, this is Ultra Coat. If I can find some matching, looks like Cub Yellow. If I can get some matching Ultra Coat, just put over it, cover it up. Um, but that's about it for this. Next video, glue in the hinges, put the um, 832nd, um, let me get the bed real quick. pretty much ordered everything off the part list. The only thing about these older R's is they don't have everything that the new ones do. The new ones come pretty much every all the hardware. These you had to order everything. But I just went pretty much stock. Hanger 9. It's pretty much just a screw with a clevis on the end of it. I'm going to use the Hanger 9 Titanium um, Pro Links with the heavy duty 440 ball ends from Dubro. And also I have a tap for this because you drill the hole a little bit, a little bit small. Then you tap it for this bolt thread, and then just run that thing through so you have threaded in through the ply block. Plus a little nut goes on top to kind of help hold it in place. But till then, you guys have a good one.